Hi guys, my name is Beckett and welcome to the channel. We're going to be talking about title update 11 for Division 2 today. We got a lot going on with the season and the manhunt drawing to an end and with the quite a huge update and a, a free update to that with the new Summit game mode coming in and the season info and everything else that we just heard today. Uh, Fei Lao's death is incoming, thank God, from Division 1. I hated that character so much. <laughs> she was probably the most poorly developed. And just, I just hate her dialogue. Every cutscene, I, I just want to just grab her throat a little bit. <laughs> and we finally get transmog after what? Four or five years of, of Division going on. We got a lot of new gear, weapons, new exotics. And something potentially to open up the meta. And I see a lot of endless builds coming in. Just new things that are going to be able to compete. And you might have to throw out your Eagle Bearer. But that that's alright. We got new skill variant for the trap. Uh, DPS variant basically. And a whole lot of game balance. And overall just quality of life changes that is really good and honestly this is a great time for new players games on sale right now i think when i picked it up a few months ago i got everything for like 25 dollars. plus don't forget to use your uplay discount i'm not sponsored by them i'm just saying if you're on the fence come in grab this game it's really cheap you can get caught up you have a new free update coming you have the season pass, but that's $10, and you don't need to pay for it. You still get all the exotics and stuff, so come check it out. Now, let's get into this new Summit game mode. Basically, it's a skyscraper game mode. You just clear floor to floor, and it just progressively gets harder. I assume the first floor is just like normal story mode, and you just build, build, until about, I think the they said the last 10 floors, and what all the footage and everything that I've seen, the last 10 floors are like legendary mode, and it's got every faction. You rotate in and out. It does have the checkpoint system unique rewards i'm guessing that that's just collectibles and stuff like that when you get to the top top tier uh my only concern about this game mode and it's kind of just like diablo 3's greater rift system is it's the best way to get gear and you only play that so you really don't ever go out into the world unless it's a new season or anything and the same problem happened with division one where you had no reason to go out into the actual new york that is beautiful and you love you just spent your whole time in the dark zone doing dark zone stuff just going rogue or whatever gearing up and that was my whole division one experience and i i loved every minute of it but it just like we never got to go out in the out, outer world and right now division two's open world is amazing there's something to do in each area you can go anywhere with targeted loot system so what i did here and what i've seen in the ptr or pts uh the it is a target loot so hopefully when it's that day, you'll be able to farm it out and it will be the best day, let's say, if set pieces are dropping. You're going to want to be in there, grind out as many set pieces as you can get. But I hope it's just not we're stuck there and we need to be there because that's the best way to get loot. I don't want to see it that way where, oh, that's as many drops as it can be. We can just all just do AOE farms and just do this never ending. And the game just want to be fun. I like the fact that... There's so many things I can be in the open world grinding end game gear. I can do the raid. I can go to the dark zone. I can do all these things. I don't want to be stuck in one place when they have such a fabulous game. Now we can get on to transmog. Something that's a system that I wish had been in place for a long, long time, but we got it. It's here. So if you're not sure how it works, basically we're going to have to go out and farm some gear that you don't have, but any gear that you already have saved up or your own, it will already be like, I guess in your transmog library, it's just going to be an extra mod on each piece of your gear and every gear will have it moving forward on this patch. So once you collect it, you can just go and mod it. And let's say you have a piece of ongoing directive and you want it to look like striker, you can go and click and click striker. So if you had deleted some of these old pieces of gear and you don't have them anymore, it's a perfect time. Go farm out the pieces you want and get out there. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there farming right now and getting ready for this upcoming patch. And it's always fun to farm transmog. I always love doing it in WoW, and now we have it in a different game. I'm very happy to do this, whether it's Diablo 3, Division, WoW. I'm very happy about this change moving forward. Now we can look into exotics, and they gave us a lot of spicy exotics to get this season, and I'm very happy. The first one is a SMG and I'm an SMG guy. So the day I die, I love them, how they feel in this game. They've always felt great. Uh, the first one is it's just amazing. Every time you deal damage, you gain stacks of critical hit damage, which can be ridiculous, but you also apply a bleed to yourself. So it's kind of, but it's the bleed doesn't look that bad and it's going to be very easy to manage on an armor on kill or high regen build. 
or pretty much just any weapon damage build, I think it's going to surpass everything in the meta, at least PvE, if you're if you're running a full red build. And I'm really excited to find a build for this. Next one we got is a backpack called Memento. And it's got a cool little feature. Basically, every time you get a kill, it will drop a little memento i guess and you got to go pick it up and you get a buff depending on what build you are so if you were a full red you're going to get weapon damage uh if you were a, a skill build you'll get something called skill efficiency which is actually a new attribute that they added in the game just for this which basically one percent uh skill efficiency i think increases all your skills so skill haste skill damage status effects all that one percent to all that and it can go up to like I believe you get 5% for each core or each thing you pick up for that backpack. So you could ex really see where it's going to go. You're going to get some crazy build bleeds. You're going to get just some crazy skill damage bleeds where you're going to be stacking up so high. And I'm pretty happy for this. Next one we get is Ridgeway's Pride. And the SMG and this, if you can get these two together, we could see a little damage. So right off the bat, shooting enemies within 10 meters applies bleed to the target. And and you repair 1 to 25% of your armor per second for every enemy that is bleeding within 10 meters. So when you have 5 enemies, you have 25% of your armor per second. So just imagine running that with ongoing directive or any build bleed. You are going to be a walking tank and unkillable. It's kind of reminding me of the <laughs> right before Division 2 and Division 1 when we had those crazy striker builds like Unlimited Regen. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys, and it's going to be fun to go in the Dark Zone with this stuff and see how it performs. Finally, we got the gear sets. So we got Hunter's Fury, which it buffs, two-piece buffs SMG shotgun damage, and three-piece is armor on kill, health on kill, and then the fourth piece is it's pretty awesome it's going to be really awesome in close range everyone within 15 meters receives a debuff that increases your weapon damage on it is awesome chest piece looks awesome backpack uh you might i think you're going to be able to get around not using the backpack at all and i'm happy about that the new brand set uh is another it's armor on kill armor regen and then the three piece is incoming repairs not that great but having those two you could see a lot of different outcomes coming out and finally we got the new skill variant uh which is a shrapnel trap so pretty much we're gonna be throwing traps out and throws out all these little bombs explodes so it's kind of like the little the cluster seeker mines best i can say but you can throw it on enemies playing on walls all this stuff so it's gonna be cool uh, i might actually end up using the trap we'll see how things go from there now finally we can get into the gameplay changes as well of all the quality of life. First thing first, rainbow loot. They're working on it. Hopefully it'll be fixed this time. There's always going to be a little rainbow loot, but this much at this time in the game is a little too much. Mods, huge change. Uh, so basically you can use any mod in any mod slot now. So that's going to be awesome. So if you're running a full red build and you want to put a couple pieces of armor on kill, whatever me, protection from elites, if you're running a solo build and you want to be a little more tanky, you can do that. Although none of these changes go into effect until September 22nd when the new season launches. If you want to get in and test out these new items, you can always go and get in the PTS, but it's only available on PC, which sucks if you're not on PC. So go buy a PC. Everyone loves PCs. Come and join the master race. And then I guess we just wait till September 22nd. Make sure you guys can finish up your manhunt, all your season stuff. Because all that stuff's going to be gone. Don't want to waste that money you spent on that stuff. And if you guys like the content, subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time.